Welcome to Source Anywhere Standalone, a demonstration presented by Dynamsoft Corporation. Dynamsoft Source Anywhere Standalone is a version control solution designed to replace Microsoft's Visual Source Safe. Every year, thousands of customers turn to Dynamsoft Corporation for world-leading version control and issue tracking technologies. Today, many Fortune 500 companies, including HP, IBM, Intel, and Symantec, trust Dynamsoft solutions for version control and issue tracking application development. Dynamsoft Source Anywhere Standalone is a version control solution designed to replace VSS. It's an SQL-based application that offers all the functionality of VSS, plus a variety of additional features that make it a more comprehensive, reliable solution for software development teams. It was built for performance, security, reliability, and scalability. Let's take a look at the architecture of Source Anywhere Standalone before we talk about the features in detail. Source Anywhere Standalone Server is based on SQL Server. The server can be accessed by cache server or client, both locally and remotely. Source Anywhere Standalone comes with a cache server, which caches accessed files for later use, thus greatly improving the remote file transfer performance. Source Anywhere Standalone has wide client support, including Windows GUI and Command Line Client, cross-platform GUI and command line client, Visual Studio integration, Eclipse plugin, and Macromedia plugin and SDK. If you are migrating from VSS, you can expect a seamless transition. The interface was designed to resemble VSS, so there's virtually no learning curve. In addition, a VSS data import is provided to help make that transition as smooth as possible. The Source Anywhere standalone server and cache server run on Windows. In addition to the native Windows client, Source Anywhere Standalone comes with a cross-platform client for Linux, Mac, HPUX, Solaris, or any platform that supports Java. Also, it has IDE integration for Eclipse, Dreamweaver, and IBM Rational Rapid Developer 2003. Source Anywhere Standalone offers high-performance remote access as well as high-performance local access. Since Source Anywhere Standalone uses a client-server architecture, there is no need to expose the file system, reducing the chance of attacks. In addition, it also has built-in 128-bit SSL and Blowfish encryption, built-in SSL certification authority, and password policy. Source Anywhere Standalone is easy to install, and all of the data is stored in SQL Server, so you only need to back up the database. With Source Anywhere Standalone, you will experience no more data corruption, even in the case of power failure during operation. With SQL Server Atomic Transaction, your operation is either fully complete or fully rolled back. I'm going to guide you through the basic operations of Source Anywhere Standalone. First, let's open Source Anywhere Standalone Client. I'm going to create a project. To create a project, you can create through the File menu and click Create Project. I'm going to name it Project 1. To add a file, we can do it through the file menu, or we can click the icon down here. I'm going to add a text file. Then we can check out the file, edit it, and check it back into the repository. Now we're going to take a look at the history of the file by right-clicking Show History. As you can see, this is the interface of History Explorer, where you can see the file name, the user who is accessing the file, date and time of modification, versions, and actions. Also, on the right-hand side, these are the source control features that Source Anywhere Standalone provides. With the View command, you can view any file in the repository. You can also see the details of a file. Also, you can get any specific file in the repository. You can also see the differences between files. For instance, I'm going to pick version 1 and version 2. You can see on the left hand, version 1, and on the right hand, version 2, and it has been edited. Unlike VSS, Source Anywhere Standalone provides the annotate feature. This feature enables you to determine who made changes and why for any individual section of code. You can label any version of a file in the repository. I'm going to label it version 2. You can also branch any version of a file. 
you can pin or unpin them. Also, you can roll back to any version. I'm going to roll back to version 1 here. Now I'm going to take a look at the content of version 3, which was rolled back from version 1. Click View, and you can notice that this is the content of version 1. You can also export the history to a CSV file. You can also refresh and get help. Source Anywhere Standalone can be integrated into your Visual Studio, and here's how to do it. We need to open Visual Studio. First of all, we need to locate the source control feature that we're going to use. Go to Tools, Options, Source Control. On the left side, click Plugin Selection and choose DynamSoft Source Anywhere Standalone and click OK. Now we're going to create a project and do some operation. Create a new project. I'm going to name it Project B. To add a solution to version control, you can click File and click Add Solution to Source Control. Now you can see the version control features. I'm going to check out the file and change it. I'm going to save it and check it back into the repository. Now we're going to take a look at the history file by right-clicking Show History. This is the History Explorer. You can see the file name, user, date and time, version, and action. Also, you can see the version control features on the right-hand side. It is much like the one in Source Anywhere Standalone Client. So far, I've shown you the Source Anywhere standalone client and how to integrate it into Visual Studio. Now I would like to show you our Source Anywhere standalone server manager. Server manager is used to manage the server and also the repository. First, we need to connect to the server and log in as admin. With server manager, you can manage the password policy. You can set the minimum password length from 0 to 32 characters. You can use Enforce Password History. With this setting, users cannot use the same password when it expires. You can also set the maximum password age. For instance, after five days, a new password would be reset. You can also use Lockout User. This feature is really helpful. It prevents hackers from guessing passwords. For instance, after five unsuccessful login attempts, hackers will be locked out for 10 minutes. Within the 10 minutes, hackers cannot do anything. When your team expands in the future and you want to add more licenses, just click on Add and input the new serial number. You can allow user or group access to your repository. To provide high security, you can encrypt your database. Just click on Encrypt and input the passphrase and confirm it. Now I'd like to talk about the repository. You can create as many repositories as you want. Just right-click Repository and click Add Repository. You just specify the name, and also you can enable the following options here. You can see I have three repositories, and you can notice that each repository has the following items. You can allow user or group access to this particular repository. You can also set security for this particular repository. Unlike VSS, you can specify a certain folder within the database. For instance, if you want to restrict permissions for this particular user, basically you just click on his name and then unclick these options down here. Excluded file types. Sometimes you don't want to add file extensions into a database. Just specify the extension and click OK. For instance, if you want to exclude JPEG extension format from the repository, you just input JPEG and click OK. Mergeable file types. Sometimes you want to merge files, compare files, and we need to specify the file extension. Otherwise, the system will treat the files as binary. Source Anywhere Standalone allows you to designate a project to be a web project. If you want to designate a web project, just click Add and browse the project. Then you deploy to a local folder or an FTP site. Regardless of multiple checkouts or exclusive checkouts, you can undo all the checkout files. This is the end of the product demonstration. Thank you again for joining us.